The SNC Lavalin corruption scandal has entirely consumed Justin Trudeau's government for the past six weeks. And just now, the finance minister presented a budget as though it were business as usual. It is not business as usual. And we could not stand by while the Liberals pretended otherwise. Justin Trudeau tried to stop the criminal prosecution of a liberal friendly company by bullying his attorney general, Jody Wilson Raybould, into letting them off the hook. And when she wouldn't do it, he fired her. Since then, he has silenced her. He won't waive the privileges and confidences that legally prevent her from telling Canadians what she knows. And earlier today, he shut down the only public investigation into this corruption scandal. They say the cover-up is worse than the crime. But Justin Trudeau must have come to the opposite conclusion. No cover-up can be worse than what he did. In the aftermath of this corruption scandal, Mr. Trudeau has lost two of his top cabinet ministers to resignation. His best friend and senior advisor had to resign under a cloud of scandal. And the top civil servant, the clerk of the Privy Council, had to do the same thing. Today's budget is part of the continuing cover-up. This budget is not a serious fiscal plan for the country. It is a $41 billion corruption cover-up that Canadians will pay for if he's re-elected. His desperate attempts at a cover-up are themselves part of this corruption. His justice investigation shut, shutdown was an abuse of power, an affront to democracy, and an attack on Parliament. Canadians expect accountability in Parliament. And for Justin Trudeau to shut down a committee investigating his corrupt practices and only hours later turn around and present a budget to Canadians as though everything was normal was something we could not sit in the House and stomach. Here, here, here. This here. budget has no legitimacy. Here, here. And we could not legitimize it by remaining in the chamber. In the days ahead, we will continue to highlight this government's cover-up agenda. As you just witnessed, we will use every tool at our disposal to hold Justin Trudeau to account. Nothing is off the table and we are prepared for anything. Canadians deserve answers and Conservatives are determined to get them. Justin Trudeau a tenté d'arrêter la poursuite criminelle d'une firme MIA Libéraux en intimidant sa procureure générale Jody Wilson-Raybould by stopping his attorney general to use her to stop this procedure. When he, uh, she has stopped him, he fired her. And since that, then, he has stopped her from speaking. He has refused to lift the obstacles that keeps her from saying what she knows to Canadians. And earlier today, the Liberals have put an end to the only public inquiry on this situation. We say that secret is worse than the crime, but Justin Trudeau thinks differently. No secret cannot be worse than what he did. Due to this corruption scandal, Mr. Trudeau has lost two of his best ministers who have He lost his best friend and main advisor. He lost also his biggest public official and lost the authority, the moral authority to govern. Today's budget is part of this cover-up. This budget is not a serious economic plan for the country. It was prepared on a, under a cloud of scandal. It is a cover-up of $41 billion that Canadians will have to pay if they are re-elected. Re and there's, it's only an attempt, an attempt to limit the troubles with one objective in mind to take attention away from Canada, from his corruption scandal. But Canadians will not be tricked. These desperate attempts are part of his corruption. The, the stopping of the investigation and is an attack against democracy and the parliament. Canadians are expecting that the parliament it be accountable. And the fact that Justin Trudeau has stopped the committee's uh, works that is investigating on those practices that are corrupted and to turn around and present a budget like everything was normal is something that we could not let go in the Commons. This budget has no legitimacy. 
and we could, cannot give any legitimacy to it by staying in the chamber. In the next few days, we will continue to show this cover-up that the government is doing. As you just seen, we will use every tools at our disposal to ask the government to be accountable. Nothing is, include, is excluded, and we're ready for everything. Canadians should have answers, and Conservatives are determined to have those answers. On a day that the budget is tabled, to be there to represent Canadians when the budget's being tabled, take it in and respond with your own uh, response to the budget speech. So what are you doing focusing on a procedural matter? Shutting down a public investigation into a corruption affair is not just a procedural matter. It is an attack on the rule of law and our parliamentary democracy. We will not sit idly by and allow that to happen. What do you say to Canadians who cannot hear anything from Mr. Marno's speech and say, this is childish behavior from you guys? The government has decided to and go against the tra tra tradition of our parliament and have uh, tried to stop a public inquiry on the question of corruption, of political interference against a political or uh, uh, criminal procedure. He has chosen, that's Mr. Trudeau's choice, to abuse parliament from, in this way. My finance minister has presented, has, ta has tabled his budget before uh, the uh, procedures today and the Conservatives just cannot sit during this cover-up. Do you know what I'm hearing from Canadians? Canadians are telling me that they want to hear Jody wilson rabel yeah. speak. Yeah. They want this cover-up to end. They want her to be able to come back and fill in the gaps and complete her testimony. Justin Trudeau is so afraid of what she might say that he was willing to lose two cabinet ministers, his principal advisor, the clerk of the Privy Council, and now destroy his budget day message, all in a desperate attempt to cover up his corruption scandal. That's what I'm hearing from Canadians from coast to coast. Yeah. Jody Wilson, have you asked Jody Wilson Raybould how she feels about your party? On the content of the budget, do you have any thoughts regarding uh, there was, there's still a deficit or certain measures that are promised uh, re uh, in preparation for the elections? Do you have any thoughts on this? We're always against uh, the big uh, deficits that are out of control. We're always against taxes. But the most important thing today for Canadians is that they need to know that this budget is has is nothing else but an attempt to hide truth from this scandal. Jody Wilson Raybould about how she feels about your party taking up her fight. Jody Wilson Raybould herself has asked to come back to the Justice Committee. Ms. Wilson Raybould herself has has sent a letter to her constituents indicating that there are important details that need to come to light in order to preserve the integrity of our rule of law and our justice system. All we are asking, we don't, we, we just want to let her speak for herself. It's Gerald Butts and Michael Wernick who have put words in her mouth. It's Justin Trudeau's team that is trying to tell Canadians that she's just experiencing things differently. We don't want to hear Justin Trudeau speaking for Jody Wilson-Raybould. We want to speak. We want to hear from her herself and want to let her speak. And on the budget today, what's your message to Canadians? My message to Canadians is that this is Justin Trudeau's attempt to cover up the SNC-Lavalin affair by spending $41 billion in brand new spending that Canadians will have to pay for through higher taxes if he's re-elected. Mr. Chair, what specific no tactics will you use out of your parliamentary toolbox in the coming days? Which specific tactics will you use to keep the spotlight on this affair? Uh, as you've witnessed uh, in the past, when this government does not respect the fundamental principles of how our parliament is supposed to work, uh, the opposition uses all the tools that are available to us. You'll understand if I didn't uh, share that with you right now, today. Uh, but we will do... We will use every measure available to us to ensure that Canadians know the seriousness of this situation. We are talking about the abuse of power 
Justin Trudeau abusing the power of his office to interfere in our justice system, violating the principles of the independent judicial system and the supremacy of the rule of law. That is extremely dangerous. We do not want to become the kind of country where powerful politicians can use the justice system mm -hmm. to reward their friends and punish their enemies. For generations, people have come to Canada fleeing countries where that is all too common. Conservatives will fight to protect Canada's democracy and our rule of law.